This is Mandy with Mandy's Adventures. Yes, I am sitting in the car. We are going to Chinook, Montana, and I am taking you with me. We are going to visit with Samantha, who is the director at the Blaine County Museum. Then we're going to take a look at the Wildlife Museum. We're going to have to look outside. We can't go inside because it's the off season right now. Um, and then we get to venture out south of Chinook to the Bear Paw Battlefield. So come on the adventure with me, let's go! Chinook, Montana is located in Blaine County, which is located in North Central Montana. It was formed from Choteau County in 1912. Chinook sits on the High Line approximately 30 miles south of the U.S.-Canadian border. In 1903, hotels, businesses, churches, telephone system, power plant, product farm and ranching were formed. The Bear Paw Battlefield is the site of the last major Indian battle in the US and is located just 16 miles south of Chinook. In 2019, there were 1,254 people that lived in Chinook. So our first stop here in Chinook, Montana is at the Blaine County Museum. It is free to get in here, however, they do take a free will offering. This 
museum was constructed in 1915 by John Griffin. It became a museum in 1973, but it opened in 1977. When you go inside, it is full of history and treasures and lots of artifacts. I am so excited about going into the Blaine County Museum today. Samantha is here and she is the director of the museum. She is so knowledgeable and so passionate about this museum. She is going to show us some artifacts and, and tell us some history about the Chinook area and the Blaine County area and Native American peoples. And she has some fantastic photography of some artists from around here. So let's go in together step back in time and explore the Blaine County Museum.
I'm Samantha French. I'm the director of Blaine County Museum in Chinook, Montana. And um, the museum here was established in the late 70s. And the content of the museum is anything from dinosaur fossils, so our history goes back millions of years here in Blaine County. Um, we're on the Montana Dinosaur Trail, so be sure to pick up a Montana Dinosaur Trail passport if you're interested in that history. Um, we have the history of local tribes here. We have uh, a great display of beadwork um, that represents the uh, Ani and Nakoda tribes that are local to Blaine County. And we also have beadwork from the Cree tribe as well out of uh, Hill County and Rocky Boy Reservation. Um, we have a great exhibit on early west history, which reflects the history of ranching in this community, uh, cattle and sheep ranching. Um, initially, uh, the main industry in Blaine County was sheep ranching, which a lot of people don't know. They see the cattle today and think, oh, cattle, but historically it was sheep. Um, we have a recreation of a homestead cabin, which is great, um, and we have history related to local churches, um, local pastimes, boxing was a huge hobby here in Blaine County in the 40s, and, and we have a lot of sort of that recreational history, military history, early homesteading schools, but one of the highlights of our museum is our exhibit on Bear Paw Battlefield, and we also have a documentary about the battle as well. Um, for anybody who's not familiar with Bear Paw, um, they might be more familiar with Chief Joseph or his uh, famous surrender speech to the United States military um, where he said the phrase, from here where the sun now stands, I will fight no more forever. Uh, pretty iconic speech. But not a lot of people know that, that that speech was spoken just 20 miles south of Chinook here. Um, and Bear Paw was the conclusion of a three month long flight from the original Nez Perce homeland in, in sort of the Washington and Idaho area. Um, and um, it was the conclusion of this flight out of their uh, homeland in 1877. And um, Bear Paw is regarded as the last Indian War it was the last major military conflict between the Nez Perce Indians and the United States military. Um, it's also one of the best preserved Indian War sites in the country, so it is a, a very significant site, and this museum is a great place to learn more about it. The site is overseen by the National Park Service, so if you visit in the summer, there should be a ranger on staff who can tell you all about it. We are standing in front of the original altar from the Fairview Catholic Church, which was south of Chinook. Um, the church unfortunately burned in 1991 during a massive wildfire that, that uh, tore through and destroyed a lot of, of property, or damaged a lot of property during the, the early 1990s. Um, and th thankfully, the altar was salvaged from the Fairview Church in the 1970s. And this display is actually one of the original displays um, installed in the museum in the late 70s when the museum was first opened, um, which would have been 1976. We are standing in the Early West exhibit at Blaine County Museum, um, which contains a lot of artifacts um, and horse tack um, things like that, uh, saddles that were used by local area ranchers um, in the late 1800s and early 1900s. One of the items in this exhibit that is oftentimes overlooked is this artwork we have up here. The artwork you see was done mid-1900s by a man named Walter Brown, and Walter Brown was the chuck wagon cook for the Miller Brothers Ranch, which was south of Chinook here. And their brand was E Bar Y. And he did the artwork we see here. Um, and it is purported that he possibly did the artwork with axle grease and his finger. The axle grease would have come from the, the wheels of the chuck wagon, um, which is pretty remarkable if um, he did that much detail with just axle grease. So I would encourage anybody touring the museum to take a closer look at this artwork. Um, 
not a lot is known about Walter Brown except by those who knew him personally and there are a few members of the community that do remember Walter Brown and we're kind of in the process of learning more about him and learning more about his artwork. We are standing in the Allison Portrait Gallery um, in the basement of Blaine County Museum. The Allison Gallery is one of my personal favorite uh, exhibits in the museum. It displays many, many portraits, most of which were taken in the 30s and 40s. They were taken by a, a local photographer named Andrew Allison, and he photographed um, many community members from as early as the 1920s through about the 1950s, and we have a massive collection of his portrait negatives in our archives. They number about 3,000, so there's lots of these. And many people whose families are from this area can find pictures of their relatives in the Allison portrait collection. Um, he was a very skilled photographer, and he definitely had a knack for capturing the character of the individuals he was photographing. Blaine County Museum that I particularly appreciate and that many people might not realize is that we have a fabulous photo archive. Um, not just the Allison portrait collection, but also an outstanding archive of early Chinook and area photography. Um, so these uh, photos are dated um, late 1800s, early 1900s. We also have a great collection of prints by the frontier photographer Charles Morris, who was actually a contemporary of Charlie Russell. He was living and photographing in the state around the same time period. Um, and he, he photographed much of the same kind of subject matter as Russell was portraying. He also made a lot of his prints into postcards, which his wife Helen, who was an artist in her own right, um, hand tinted. And those were circulated all over the region. Um, and if you go into any antique store in this part of the country, you're bound to find a Charles Morris postcard, or rather a postcard with a Charles Morris print on it. And not a lot of people know that we have that right here at Blaine County Museum. And when you leave, or get ready to leave the Blaine County Museum, stop in at the bookstore. There's a lot of history here good reading and something that you can treasure and take home with you. And there is a special table right here. Here I'm standing out front of the Wildlife Museum which is just down the street from the Blaine County Museum, the museum we were at. This is open from June 1st to August the 31st from 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday and 1 to 5 on Sunday and September 1st through the May 31st is open by appointment. When you go into the Wildlife Museum, it offers an excellent display of animals native to the area. This museum began in 1991 and is located in Chinook's downtown business district. You can see Montana's native wildlife species in their natural habitats. They also have a gift shop that features the work of many Montana artists. This is a beautiful, beautiful museum. And it is definitely worth a stop to explore the animals in the Wildlife Museum.
In 1924, a Utah-Idaho sugar beet company moved to Chinook. They moved all their equipment and everything here by train cars. The opening took place on October 1st, 1925 and remained opened for 26 years. They harvest sugar beets. They made molasses and beet pulp. The sugar beet is the school's mascot. If you want information on that, you can go onto the Chinook Chamber of Commerce and it will tell you more about the sugar beet factory. Right now it is closed. It is no longer a sugar beet. But back in the time, this really did bring a lot of business in the Chinook area and really brought this town to life. Hi everybody, thank you for coming on the adventure with me in Chinook, Montana. We visited the Blaine County Museum. We looked outside the Wildlife Museum because it is the off season right now. And we ventured out to the Bear Pole Battlefield. Remember to stop by the Blaine County Museum first before you head out to the Bear Pole Battlefield. Until we meet again, stay safe, love one another, and I can't wait for our next adventure. Bye.